very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh nigeria super eagles has beaten um benin yes 3-0 at home in the first game in the african cup of nations qualifiers the star boy in fact two nigerian star boys scored the goals for nigeria one is ademola lukman what a week he has been having ademola lukman i am being the only african part of the ballon d'or top 30 nominees um, and then this week um, scoring two emphatic and beautiful goals for nigeria super eagles to get a maximum three points plus three goals in the african cup of nations qualifiers don't forget that benin has been a huge 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 obstacle for nigeria to um to to oh, overcome in the last few months and weeks in terms of the Af fifa world cup qualifiers they've been tormenting nigeria super eagles but this time new coach um augustine Guavon and his boys uh, made sure that they delivered the job it's not only a demo lukman who is a star boy who flourished in fact victor osimen came on the 70th minute about six minutes later he scored an emphatic goal that is making uh, trends everywhere you go on social media everybody is talking about him and indeed we all remember and know the fact that victor shimed had a hell of a time in terms of the summer transfer window he was supposed to go to chelsea it didn't come through and then his deal to saudi arabia also fell through um he lost favor in the side of the napoli people and they actually took his name out of the squad list for the upcoming season he's been having a hectic hectic summer um there were even reports that he was so angry that he couldn't make the chance to be part of um, um he, he was so angry that the deal to saudi arabia and the rest didn't come through because napoli were demanding too much and all of that but then finally in the summer transfer window he got a chance to move to gala tasarai and in fact some few days ago he was with the galatasaray supporters in turkey and it was fantastic he comes back to the nigeria super eagles team and also scores a goal ademola lukman has reacted to the game we are going to talk about that that is only introduction wow <laughs> and then we look at the camp of the ghana black stars also i've seen that when i posted the highlights for the game involving nigeria and benin a lot of nigerians are pressing the necks of ghanaians <laughs> pressing that hey Ghanaians, you you lose to angola at home we are we've beaten benin comfortably they are pressing the necks of Ghanaians. you have to look at the camp of the senior national team the ghana black stars and then check some updates from there a player is injured one player didn't get on board to their to morocco as the team has arrived in morocco and all of those issues you are going to look at that english born Ghanaian. do not subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select all so at least i've given you um, a huge overview in terms of the two players who were involved in the nigerian win already and i think that's that's enough is that not it ademola lukman has had a fantastic season and fantastic few months and indeed he's going to be crowned the calf african player of the year after victor simen won it in fact currently victor simen is the calf best player of the year so he's the best player in africa as, as we speak now another Ghanaian is another nigerian in the shape of ademola lukman is going to win that trophy there is no two ways about that <laughs> i'm not sure anybody can debate about that because his um performances in europe his performance with um, nigeria in the afcon 2023 don't forget forget afcon was played this year 2023 and ademola lukman held the hands of nigerians to the finals he was instrumental in nigeria reaching the finals and then he has started the african cup of nations qualifiers so well hitting two goals today indeed i tell you that he's in the form of his life and even today crown he missed a lot of chances he missed some, some chances but yes though he got you the maximum two um three points plus two goals so he has been reacting to the game and he says that take off two goals tagged so indeed he's happy 
for his two goals and i've seen a lot of nigerian fans and nigerians indeed saying that look ademola lukman is a blessing to nigeria i think paul jar media um has been saying that he says that ademola lukman is a blessing to nigeria because look he's in so much form that even during the summer the likes of arsenal liverpool were all after his signature but the deal didn't go through for him and he's, he's just so 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 good and he had a fantastic fantastic game um, versus Benin, and I think a certain kind of praise should go to uh, Gaston Eguavon because I watched G Nigeria versus Benin during um, the FIFA World Cup qualifiers, and they were not creating enough chances. But in this game versus Benin, Nigeria created enough enough chances, numerous chances. And if you watch the highlights I've posted on this channel, you can go through the videos and see. If you watch the highlights, you see that even Victor Boniface was squandering some half chances and some some number of chances before he went out around the 70th minute, uh, making way for Victor Osimen. So Augustine Guavon, with a short time he was appointed and all of that, we all remember the saga of Labadia, a German trained coach. Um, Labadia was supposed to take over and then blah 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 with the NFF, he didn't come. And Augustine Guavo was supposed to take over. Yes, though. He has delivered a competitive team to compete and score goals. Emphatic 3-0 win for Nigeria Super Eagles. I'm, I tell you, it was a good one. Congratulations to Victor Osimen. I was personally happy for him. And you could see that the whole team were very, very much happy for him because of what he went through during the summer. And when he scored, everybody wanted to touch him. Everybody. Uh, from the technical team to the players on the field to the players on the bench. Oh wow, what a player he is. Um, kudos to him and we wish him the very best of luck. Now, let's move from Nigeria and join the Black Stars of Ghana. They've arrived in Morocco. They'll be playing versus Niger. You know, Ghana, they, they lost the first game versus Angola at home at the Babayara Stadium. They are going to play the second game versus Niger in Morocco because Niger doesn't have any accepted calf stadium in their country. So they are going to play the Black Stars in Morocco. And the Black Stars have arrived in Morocco. But two players are said to miss the game versus Niger. One, Joseph Pinto. We already talked to you about him. He's not going to be part of the Black Stars team and in squad and everything because he couldn't travel to Morocco. He wasn't part of the players who traveled to Morocco because of passport issues. Um, he's still sorting a lot of things with his United States of American club and his passport issues. So he couldn't travel with the team. Um, but then the other sad news is that Jerome Opoku um, is injured and cannot play the game versus Niger. That is the news coming in. He's a fantastic Blasters player and he is injured as I speak to you. So he, he will not be available for selection. And it is a very, very huge blow because for me, I think that um, Abdul Momen and Mohamed Salisuno, if one of them is supposed to be substituted the proper ready player to be in the squad um, in the team for the black stars is jerome opoku and he's now injured that is a very very difficult situation for the black stars but we hope and pray that no none of those two central defenders abdo momen and muhammad salisu will secure injuries um in the game versus niger and all of them will be able to play 90 minutes of the game for ghana black stars so on monday ghana black stars will play on monday too um <laughs> nigeria will be taking on rwanda yes um, rwanda away uh, so that's how things are um all okay, right so let's talk to you about this play and then we take leave of you english born Ghanaian midfielder Ora Edwards struck a crucial equalizer for Colchester United on their 1-1 draw um, against Bromley in League 2 on Saturday afternoon. This The match marked the first ever meeting between the two sides at the Job Serve Community Stadium. Edwards, who came on as a substitute in the 54th minute. Um, replacing Rob Hunt made an immediate impact. Bromley had taken the lead earlier in the 23rd minute when Ellis um, Arundo lost possession, leading to a penalty converted by Mike York Cheek. However, Colchester United fought back and Edwards capitalized on a deep cross from Jack Pine to score at the back 
post leveling the game at 1-1. The match ended in a draw with Bromley Bezet Tropoli receiving a second yellow card in added time for a bad foul. So English-born Ghanaian and Ora Edwards scoring a goal for his side in their league two. Thank you very much for staying with us and joining us once again on this channel. Sports 7 GH. Do all to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Hit the notification bell and select all. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.